Hello there. Today we're looking at how to get Instana, the APM for microservice environments, running with the integration of LogDNA, a log provider. In order to get Instana up and running, all you need to do is click on the website instana.com on free trial. Put in your info and within five minutes you have an email in your inbox with the necessary details. Just like with LogDNA, just click on Start Free Trial, type in your info, you're good to go. We did exactly that. And on an instance in AWS, what we do is run Robot Shop, which is open source, on GitHub is a polyglot webshop environment with a load generator in order to demo how Instana exactly works. In order to start sending logs to LogDNA, you can pick one of the many ways on the website on the documentation docs.logdna.com. We've done that and pick the Docker provider. Why? Because as you can see, we already used Docker Compose to start the robot shop. So why not combine the two just as well as with the Instana agent? All you need to input is your agent key that's in the email inside your invite, just like the ingestion key for LogDNA. Here, in the infrastructure view of Instana, we already see this host. We're in live mode, it means that we are looking at live data. And we can see many containers of the robot shop. If we go to the shell, here are they. They are running, they're generating load. So let's open the host dashboard. You might ask yourself, how do I get that lock DNA button on the host dashboard? Easy enough. Just hit the settings. Go to log management, log DNA. And just type in your ingestion key. How do you get that? Easy. Open your trial that you clicked yourself from the app log DNA uh, from the log DNA invite site. And this is sent also in your email. But if you have your dashboard open on log DNA, you can just copy it from the URL that you use. Just type it in here, hit save. Open the host dashboard and you have this button. Now you might, do, might ask yourself, well, why would I need that? Well, today's use case is pretty much unique. Very rarely you will hit, have the use case that you only have one server. In case a server is acting up and in case we detect issues in Instana you can see it glowing up in yellow or red which is white right here because there are new issues as you can see and if one of the servers are facing issues you open the host dashboard hit the log DNA button and as you can see in the URL the logs that you see right here are filtered for this one particular host Also, in the case of you running Kubernetes, every single pod dashboard has this button as well. So when a particular service, service is acting up, just hit the button 
and you see the logs that belong to this one particular pod. That's pretty much all we have for you today. So I wish you good luck and happy hacking.